Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the official podcast of the Russian Federation. The man in front of me, comrade, legend, Mike Ward. I am Mike Ward. You are Pantelis mm-hmm. and our friend over there. Is uh, the peasant class? Yeah, he's gonna get erased from all the future pictures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're gonna keep his body, but no head. Yeah. How's it going, Poseidon? You good, are you, Mike? I'm doing very well. Good, I'm happy good. to be back here. Yeah, yeah, good, feels good. good. Yeah. yeah, and just a week off made it seem like forever. Yeah, because technically it's two weeks between episodes. Yeah, so it feels weird. I fucking redecorated my uh, my uh, country house. Really? Well, I did, I, did, I re. We had redone the whole house, yeah. and uh, you know when you do a whole house, you don't like closets. You don't give a fuck about. And my wife was like, "I'd like to have wallpaper in the in the closet," and I was like, "Generally, I would have been like, oh, fuck." But last week, I was like, "Okay, yeah, I've never installed wallpaper, so I'm gonna put that up." And it's fucking complicated. It's super easy, but then you leave and you come back and you realize I have no talent. <laughs> oh, it does it look fucked up? Because at first I was like, this is so cool. It's fun. I had a scraper. I was like, I'm very good. I was touching it and there were no lines or bumps. Yeah. I went downstairs, had a sandwich, came back, and I had like one big bubble. <laughs> in no. The bottom. And I was like, fuck, fuck. And then I push it and the bubble just moves but it doesn't leave and because everything is so well sealed so it's got nowhere to go <laughs> so, so you I gotta prick a hole i'm gonna have to prick a hole that's just like I'm a little needle do, yeah i think yeah oh that's fun yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to do it I, yeah. i'm sure it would be crooked if i did it yeah i remember when i was little i uh my dad had put it up at our house and i'd helped him but i was like six or eight so he did the work and i but in the old days you had to dip it like in water and place it yeah but that's what i thought it was now it's just a peel and stick thing so it's super easy but in the old days, when you wet it, you could move it. But now the peel and stick, it's on there. And if it's not right, y- you have to try to unstick it. But then if you unstick it. It's not sticky anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, you got to be yeah, careful. Awesome. You need to be precise. Yeah. yeah. That's an artiste job. You need yeah. someone that's very precise. I became, uh, at some point, when I worked for TELUS, I became very talented at placing screen protectors on uh, on phones. Like, I was proud of it. It's a skill oh, that nice. often goes unnoticed. Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, the screen protector is a wallpaper of uh, of phones, cell phones. Yeah, basically. But I loved all that shit. But even like uh, the task, like to put up, um, like n- new, because uh, you know we had like a glass window that you're talking about for the ad boards there. Yeah, the ad boards and yeah. stuff. Some of them you had to stick them on, like you know, with a uh, with Windex, yeah. and then you had to put the thing on. I love that. We shit. got a new poster why. of a monkey using a tablet. Yeah. You're like, I got yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah. why. I really enjoyed that. Monkey using ca- <laughs> monkey putting up a poster. It's the There's same thing. Something though about like a wallpaper putting a sc- that you feel mm. like a man. You're like men are supposed to build shit and make shit. Yeah. And, yeah. And when someone goes, I don't know how to do that. There's something fun about going. I got this. I got this. <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing. Even if you don't. What I do if it's a big job is I, I grab my phone and I go, let me ask, how much is it going to cost? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how much is it going to cost for a real man to come here and fix this? Yeah. <laughs> like I reupholstered my my wife's restaurant, the the the, the booth. The, the new sort one? Sort of dinette set, yeah. Because they, they wanted to reupholster the, 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 the bench and it was like $5,000 to do. So I was like, fuck it, I can do that. And you actually did it? Yeah, I did it. And it looks good. It looks the same as uh, if we paid five thousand. I think you just have to try. Yeah. Well, oh. with YouTube now, everything is super easy. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, you just watch. Like for real reupholstering, I watched like fifty videos. Because the only thing that's hard is the corners. I yeah. And the rest, you're just stapling fucking fabric. That's how wood. I learned all kinds of edit yeah. video editing stuff is through through YouTube. I'm no. watching a lot of. I, I watched a lot of stuff. I caught up on the uh, Pam and uh, Tommy Lee show. Yeah, yeah, I like that show. It's a fun yeah. show. And Tommy does look like a fucking idiot, eh? Douche. Yeah, yeah. but he gets better. Like, uh, first you like him a bit more. The first episode, episode I hated one, him. you want to fucking punch him yeah. in the face the whole time. But then by episode four, you're like, oh, he's just a fucking buffoon. like a a party dummy. Yeah, he's a lovable buffoon. Yeah, yeah, he's a lovable buffoon. I, I saw that, and then I caught up on the X Men animated series from the '90s. Okay, and then little observations start to get me mad, like because uh, they're always they're, they're in their superhero clothes they're not supposed to be. And then there's a moment where, because they wear regular street clothes, they wear suits or whatever. But for some reason, like the the, the guy Beast, he's always in a speedo. Okay. And at, at the last episode of, of the series, Professor Xavier, you know Patrick Stewart, there, he's he's dying. He's dead. Okay. He's dead at this point. And everyone's there mourning, and he's there with his fucking speedo. It's like this is this this was your moment to wear pants. 
but he's there with his fucking underwear, and you're trying to. It's a serious scene. He's like, okay, I'm so sad. An he's just there in a fucking speedo. Oh, what a piece! Of but shit. as a child, I never noticed how stupid yeah. that was. So I put some fucking pants on. Yeah. If I did that, you yeah. ever try going to the funeral with, with no pants it's on? It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Well, remember Sp- Spider Man? Uh, not Spider Man. Superman wears his underwear on top of his spandex. Yeah. Another Which, like, it's so it's stupid. Very bizarre. Yeah. Like fucking. I want to accentuate I know you're my crotch. In a hurry, yeah. but just <laughs> it's not that. Like it's not. It doesn't go faster. Yeah, if you put it on the outside. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things that we just yeah. accepted. Like one thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Speaking of speedos, um, I talked to uh, uh, Olivier uh, Aubin Mercier, oh, the yeah, Canadian yeah. gangster. I'm gonna sponsor his. I'm gonna be one of his sponsors for his next fight. How much does that cost? It's really cheap compared Could- to what I thought. It was a. Uh, it's a uh, twenty five hundred Canadian. Really? And what? I, I've, yeah. And I think, like, he was telling me how uh, he thinks he could beat up a chimpanzee. And then I Googled I this. I think he could beat up a chimpanzee. I, no, I found out he can't because uh, chimps chimps aren't that much stronger than men. Like, they're only, I used to think of it, it was six times as strong, but they're only, like, 1.5 times as strong, which isn't that strong. But men punch and kick. Chimps rip limbs off. So right. if, if you punch a chimp and he grabs your hand, he's going to rip your hand off. Me and you, but he's not going to grab the Canadian gangster's hand. He's quick. Uh, yeah, but still, <laughs> he's going to rip He's gonna rip his face off. He's going to rip his hands off. I would, if I was a betting man, I'd put money on Olivier to beat up that chimp. Uh, yeah. I but think I could take a chimp. No, but they, they maul. They even maul. They'll, they'll go, they'll eye gouge you. They'll yeah. uh, claw your face. This is the 80s, bro. Mauls sne- aren't even a thing anymore. N- what? Very sneaky. <laughs> Yeah, but there was a, there was a lady. You didn't see the lady that had like a took her face off. Took her yeah. face off because she was not a trained fighter. Yeah. yeah, she didn't know how to reverse that shit and then rip his face off. But still, but we don't want to have Oli's face uh, ripped off by a chimp, bro. Yeah, I just don't want to hurt the chimp. I wonder if the what? chimp would like since Ali has a mustache, go for the mustache first <laughs> and go Ooh. like, look, all right, fight's over. So is he gonna have a Suzukut logo? No, I, I'm going to put a joke on. So it's either going to be uh, a, a thing, chimpanzee is stronger than Olivier, or... Why don't we p- put some of our yeah. two-trick minimum marketing budget and put the fucking logo on his yeah. shorts? You know what I thought of doing, though? Yeah. I, I think I'm going to offer him to pay him more because he wears the regular shorts. I want him to wear a Speedo. No, no, I want him comfortable. I don't uh, want him to lose. But a Speedo is comfortable. Not in a fight where your ball flies out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they must have the speedos. <laughs> like your balls don't fly. Out. I just, I held on. I just pictured somebody going for like a kick or something. And just see one of his testicles yeah. just fly out. Or when he's grappling, there's just balls. Yeah. And it's just coming <laughs> out of the skin. <laughs> the skin's coming out. Of the, like, he can do though. I thought that. He can do though. You know how like drag queens have to tape their dick and balls. Yeah. Maybe if he's wearing a speedo, if he tapes his dick and balls. But now we're just confusing him. This is yeah. ruining his. He feels. Tape on his balls. Yeah. We need him to be limber. Yeah. We, we need him to win. Well, there's he's the representing the whole country yeah. of <laughs> Quebec. He's representing all of it. Well, there's the what's it called? Those um, it's like a like a like longer speedos. Basically, they're like boxers. They're like skin tight. Yeah, leggings. Yeah, yeah, like legging shorts, like bicycle. That, shorts. That's what uh, fighters yeah. fight, fight yeah. with anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah usually. Yeah. Or the board shorts where they're yeah. a bit looser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that, that's usually bigger guys. So like Francis and Ganu fights yeah. with those. Bro, this guy will kill you. This yeah. guy could beat up a chimpanzee. Yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah, he could maul a chimpanzee. Yeah, yeah, so strong. Yeah, he's a fucking. He's but only we should put on his ass. We yeah. should pay him to have the two like, drink minimum. I, I had a, a thing that I want to put on his ass. It was a, a picture of me and Jean Thomas Jabin <laughs> that we used to sell underwear. <laughs> that it's Jean Thomas like pushing my head up the person's ass. Yeah, yeah. So I, was, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with that That's for actually Olivier. Funny, yeah. Just because I want something that people won't know that it's a it's an ad for something. Just a gag. Yeah. Like we could do instead of doing a Suzy Kut thing, do a two drink thing, but not have two drink minimum. But just then people won't know. How are we advertising if nobody knows what it is? It's just for the good. Oh, it's just for us? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We could do okay, that no, too. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We'll figure something out. Yeah, yeah. We have the budget that we haven't spent. Yeah, we should, yeah. We should use it for something good. Yeah. Oh, we have uh, smoke bombs. I like bringing that up. I, I know. I know we can't use them in this situation, but well, we could. Maybe we could. We could if, yeah. he, if he's cl- if we fly to where he is and we with the entrance, we go in with him. Hide him. Yeah, hide him in his board shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Yeah, you told me Victoria's Secret is up to no good. Yeah, Yo. Victoria's Secret has a new model. More like Victoria's oh, Secret. Is it, oh, is it a is it a, a guy again? And no, no, but more like Victoria's Secret is down to no good. Okay, show me. That was a shit is it, joke. Is it, is it a sexy <laughs> thing or an unsexy thing that you're going to show me? 
sexier than you think. Yes, Wait, there like, you go. <laughs> if, if you if we tell you what it is, you're gonna be like, that's not gonna be sexy. And okay. Then you're gonna see it go. Oh, I get it. Oh, let's <laughs> see, let's see. <laughs> what, it's what's fucking it? weird. It's not kids shit. It's no. uh no. Okay. Well, I hope not. No, this is a grown ass. Uh, oh, complex person. Okay. Yeah. That's a okay. That's well, a weird looking lady. That's but, weird. You know. She looks angry to be there. Yeah. Sophia Jarao is the first oh, Victoria's no. Secret model with Down <laughs> syndrome. Down syndrome. Every dream can come true. And this is what she looks like. Scroll down. Yeah. Is that all we're going to get to see? I think and so. And did you see her necklace? Her name is Sophia, but it's written Sofa. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> is, it, is it written so far? It's, oh, no. It's probably Sophia. That would so be amazing if Vic she spelled her name wrong on her. But hold on. Let's so, look. Wait, so Victoria's Secret is down with the syndrome. Yeah. And but she looks good for someone with Down syndrome. Not there. There you go. <laughs> but oh, that was the best. She needs sun. Oh, shit. She's got big tits. So go back up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. God damn. I might not be down with the syndrome, but I'm down with those tits. Yeah. You know what? She needs sunglasses. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'd smash. Yeah, I went. I think two drinks I, in. I, I would, think mm, I think two drinks I in. I don't know, bro. You could no. you could tell when she smiles that she has Down syndrome. Bro. And it's there's something shitty about like just because if you're having sex with someone with Down syndrome, it automatically feels like you're taking advantage yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, ah. right. It's yeah. not gonna be it's gonna but be she's fucking built, dude. She works out. Yeah. But go back, go back to the one where where she has like the big tits, the top right, right. But you can tell in these ones too. Yeah, but go up like the the one. Ah, uh, no, yes, really. Yes. That that this one, that those are click on that. Fucking massive. Uh, I have to log in. To log in. But truth is, you can't tell. Like, go up. The only time I could ever tell, like, I'd be like, oh fuck, it's here. No, not even there. No, I've seen go up. It's 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 her profile picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the uh, only one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't very, even notice this. Yeah. I would. Yeah. yeah, I would. No, no one without Down syndrome is that happy. Yeah, it might, but it looks like she's. Uh, I don't know if this exists, but like not full Down syndrome. Like she's sort of uh, like a, a half Down syndrome. Oh, she's Puerto Rican. Okay. Okay. That, so wait. <laughs> so she's that, half uh, Down, <laughs> half Puerto Rican. So she's full Down syndrome. <laughs> wait, hold on. So her 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 mom was uh, Puerto Rican, and, and her, her dad, dad had Down, Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's impressive. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm just curious. What's her? Does she have any actual issues, though? I don't think like so. If she's functioning yeah. properly, then I don't know. Let's see what the article you, says. You must like if you're her. If you're this girl's uh, parents, 24 years old, you you must be oh, happy young. for her. But you must be like, ah, uh, I wonder if like the People photographer is going to take advantage of her. But she's not stupid. No. Well, we don't know. Well, and don't I'm know. pretty sure she's she's uh, the model company. activist. She's an activist. Oh, oh yeah. So she's what is she actively against? Uh, activist described uh, Malson as a dream come true on Instagram and said she hopes it'll re remind others that anything is possible. I want to tell the whole world that people with my condition, Down syndrome, inside and out, we have no limits. Wait, some people have Down syndrome, but only on the inside. Yeah, I guess uh, some people have it on. Oh, the fuck. Inside. Maybe like know that. mentally. Well, that's what clearly she meant. Yeah, yeah I uh, think spiritually. Yeah, like, <laughs> my soul <laughs> has Down syndrome. I'm, I'm very smart, but spiritually, I'm kind of retarded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is actually a feel-good yeah. story. Yeah. yeah, you guys actually found a good story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and would she, hire her to be our uh, two-drink minimum yeah. model. Yeah, she. But yeah. she has good look. Like go go down to the Victoria's Secret uh, picture. The, all these people have Down syndrome? No. None of them have Down syndrome. There, right? okay. I don't know what this is. Go up, scroll up a bit. What is the... Go scroll up so you can see the title. The Love Cloud Collection. That almost feels like they're making fun of ugly women. Yeah. Well, whenever a company that used to only hire hot chicks... They go, look, They're here we too. have a fatty and yeah. a retard. Look yeah. how good I am. Yeah, it does seem that you way. You think I'd be a piece of shit <laughs> if I hired if Yeah, it does seem nefarious. Yeah. But at the same time, it I is good it. in the sense that clearly, because you saw her body, like she's working all the time. Yeah. Clearly, the fact that they gave her an opportunity, because she, because you have to work hard. Mm. You have mm. to diet. You have to do all that. They gave her... So they did do a good thing, because she got rewarded. But at the same time, there is definitely... A hint of e exploitation. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. 
Yeah, that would be like us never making fun of you, just saying like, look how what we've yeah. done. Yeah. We've given him a job. <laughs> it can cook by itself. And then people are like, all right, but it I know you want to make fun of it. It must <laughs> be good, though, for like a, a boy with uh, Down syndrome or, or any mental uh, retardation. They when it, When you see a girl... A model that has Down syndrome, you're like, oh shit, I could fuck her. Yeah. Like, I'd have a chance with her. Whereas if you're just looking at the regular models, you're like, ah, they wouldn't want a guy like me. But a girl like her might want someone like you. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Or maybe just like, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah that's, well, she's making some, look, Victoria's Secret, whether they did it on purpose or not, yeah. that's actually a good thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a feel good story. Yeah. And I don't even mind that they use like really like fat chicks and shit. It's just that I don't like it when they call them healthy. But they don't. I haven't seen a really, really like. Yeah, there's I, no girl over there that's really, really yeah. fat, overweight, or anything. Go up. No, yeah, like the one bottom, bottom right. Is no, just bottom right, not. Nah, kind yeah. of roundish. No. Yeah. She's big boned. Yeah, that's fine. No, she's cute. No, but I've seen, I've seen like oh, uh, the one on top is heavy and has crutches. The one on the right. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah, she survived the beating. Yeah. Mm. She didn't agree. She yeah. <laughs> well, that that might be a dude on the. Second row left. Yeah, second row left looks like it did. Here? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they're just they just want to include everyone, I think. Yeah. Or they're, I, they're trolling us. Oh, uh, <laughs> they're just making fun. <laughs> It'd be amazing to find out Victoria's Secret is just a fucking dick. It, it was yeah, like go down. Look at these. Go down. Fucking. It says, uh, let's see, uh, Raul Martinez. He's the head of the creative. Uh, he's the creative director at Victoria's Secret. From the cast of incredible women that bring the collection. To life, to the incredible inclusive spirit on set, this campaign is an important part of the new Victoria's Secret that we're trying to create. Yeah. So essentially, Victoria's Secret now could be anything from a penis to a chromosome. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't care. I'm fine with it. You know, it's weird, though. Like, they do that f so that women, because women oftentimes will go like, I don't, I don't feel pretty because I don't look like models. Yeah. You're harder than that model. Yeah, but mm. guys never, like, feel that way like if if there was guy models like that if I, they're like hey this year our fucking the the the, the calendar we have a, a guy with down syndrome we have a fat guy i'd be like go fuck yourselves i don't care yeah. just fuck if you're gonna do like a calendar put hot people because because women do that fake hype thing you know what, what I mean? Where they, they'll compliment even though they don't mean it. Okay, and shit. yeah. Whereas opposed to dudes, dudes were just like, oh, bro, get the fuck out. Like, yeah. we're, like, you know, we're more direct. We're more like, like we don't give a fuck. And mo you more know? of us probably have borderline syndrome syndromes. A lot of us are syndromy. Present company included. <laughs> Fucking, yeah. Uh, present we're only company. talking about yeah. you right like, now. <laughs> present company exclusive. Yeah. What else you got for us apart right. from Down syndrome? So, uh, um, protesters demand uh, longer prison sentences for LGBTQ in Senegal. Protesters well, yeah. ask for what? Longer sentences? Yeah. So, uh, so people protested that the sentencing for protesters that are gay or just people that are gay in general. Just gay in general. Was it is it gay people protesting? No, it's uh, I, I, honestly, there's no way to tell. Uh, but <laughs> there's a way to tell. There's a way to tell. <laughs> Wait, you just talk to him. You listen. There's a lisp. <laughs> you can tell. There's a lisp. You just need to try it. Wait, yeah. what about Mike Tyson? <laughs> yeah. You can tell. Yeah. We should send that guy the why are you gay? You yeah. are a gay guy. Why are you gay? Who, who says I am gay? <laughs> you so are, wait, you are gay. People, I, thought, I thought only Nigeria does that. Uh, no, apparently in Senegal, and people are holding up signs that are saying... Uh, Le Sénégal dit non à l'homosexualité. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Senegal says no to homosexuality. Yeah. I just wanted to say it in like a bit of a... So like. hold on. So they want longer sentences for Yeah, here, I'll bring jail. it up for you guys. Cause how, cause long, how long do you uh, go to jail for, for being gay? I have no clue. I don't know. But all I know is that it seems to be working because nothing gay ever happens in yeah. prison. I just found this. It just The reason why I brought this up, I just find it interesting. Like, These guys, look at the, okay. The different kind of, of protest the, guy. guy with the sign guys, looks gay. There are at least three. That guy is definitely a, a closet homosexual. This guy? Yeah, yeah. That look guy's at gay. him. 
Yeah. He's like, no, gay people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want gay people. Yeah. 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 Why? Because he wants to be the only gay yeah. guy. What about this? This guy's kind of looking at this guy a little sus. They both look like gay guys. Yeah. yeah. The guy in green looks like an angry heterosexual. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. looks like he's going to go home and beat his son. Yeah, he looks like a homophobe. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a homophobe. <laughs> the rest look like gay guys trying not to go to jail. <laughs> look, at this, look at this guy. Look at this guy yeah, picking yeah. like, yeah. He's just I, he's I'm like, not gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I am not gay. I get curious. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this? Go up, go up, criminalize. Bro, poor gay people do yeah. that. Jesus the Christ. Exige There's so the many countries that being gay is still illegal. But like it's not even, a... Even civilized countries yeah. like fucking Jamaica. It's illegal to be gay is in Jamaica. It, oh, yeah, you told me it's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah. I have a cousin that lives in Jamaica that's a gay guy. Yeah, yeah we And he has to... Pre he pretends like he has a roommate. <laughs> 40. He's a he's oh. a fifty three year old <laughs> millionaire, but he has a roommate yeah. in Canada. It makes sense. Yo, it's a, a group of men gathered around the burning gay flag and the car uh, Sunday and chanted, "Senegal will never accept homosexuality." Yeah, but it's not something you accept or don't. Yeah. It's it's one of those things. It just yeah. happens. It just happens. Yeah, exactly. That's like, that's like <laughs> not accepting rain. Yeah. Yeah. I don't accept. We don't, don't accept ex clouds here. <laughs> I don't accept snow. <laughs> what do you mean you don't accept? Every time we see, we shoot. We shoot at them. They come back, but we shoot. Fuck, and the Senegalese are such nice people. It's it's crazy that this yeah. is happening. Yeah, but I think I think this is getting lost because he they're they're um, this guy's talking about like uh, to stop the. Does that guy have a wait? The the guy that wears in Deroulé au Senegal. There's a flag of the Senegal, and then there's the logo of Pepsi. Is that the logo? Of no, Pepsi? I don't know where. Uh, right next to not not that, but right next to it. Here, no, yeah. I, don't, I think it's more gay flags. I don't know. Okay. But it's like a gay circle. It's ah. like a gay circle. I this is a gay square. Okay, because the gay circle kind of like looks like Pepsi. Oh, no, wait, that's a Senegalese flag. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah it it's the Senegalese flag, yeah. I think. Because why would No, this they is a Senegalese flag. It's green, yellow, red. This is... Yeah. Uh, green, yellow, red. Yeah. Purple, red, Purple? Orange. What are you seeing purple? On the bottom. You guys don't see purple? No. I have, I have very good... Uh, my vision is very good with colors. Oh, wait, no, that's a gay flag, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is a gay that flag. That is a gay yeah. flag, that yeah. Is a that gay flag. Yeah. Oh, that's the same flag, yeah. 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 I was looking at something completely... Why, why uh, on the screen behind you, it's only three yeah. colors. Yeah. On the screen behind Mike, it's different. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. it's uh, it's the same on, on the screen behind me. No, I'm looking at it. Maybe the it's angle. Physical. Maybe the angle, yeah. Oh yeah, those are gay flags. So wait, is uh, he for gay or no? I, I think I think what they're trying to protest is the... the um, Nah, there's no way I can. You know what's this. fucked up <laughs> about like a flag store in the Senegal? They when they order gay flags, they have to ask for flags that are easily uh, catch fire. Like I want, I want a flag that burns easily, right? Because well, the only time they sell a gay flag is to these fucking nut jobs that want to burn it. They probably put you on a list. Yeah, I like a gay flag. I like a gay flag. Of course you would. Oh, you want a gay flag? <laughs> the event was organized by ultra-conservative Muslim groups uh, who say homosexuality is being imposed on them. <laughs> homosexuality. I did not want to blow this man. <laughs> yeah. He imposed his penis. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. them by the Being West. Imposed, that sounds like mm -hmm. a fucking guy that got caught sucking a dick. Yeah, by the West. The West. Oh, shit. <laughs> and threatens their traditional so values. So are we sending all our fucking gays to the Senegal yeah. to fuck these Muslims? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's wartime, baby. Imagine how fucking evil they think we are. That we're like, okay, here's what we do. Sexual warfare. <laughs> hey, Sasha, come here. I where, sit here. <laughs> why wear your tight shirt? See that that Muslim did? Go I run. mind my business. I turn on the Netflix. RuPaul try to drag me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they think it's RuPaul's drag race because he just drags you in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, yeah. bro. Imagine not being gay there, but just being a little flamboyant and getting the shit kicked God out of you. Damn. Imagine liking the theater <laughs> in Senegal. I just like the arts. <laughs> like I know music, you have. Yeah, fuck. Jesus Christ. Sequala. Fuck, bro. That's that's scary. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's also hilarious. Yeah. Yes, it's very... I think it's, it's so stupid. Yeah. The... Claims the same, same sex attraction as transgender identity are Western... Are Western are false. Are Western and false, maybe they mean. Uh, wh where do you see that? Uh, the last sentence in the middle paragraph. Here? That's no. Here? Yeah. LGBT uh, are numerous medical true. associations contend yeah, the, that's the, yeah, the last that's sentence. The beginning. Yeah, that's the last sentence. If 100%, that's how the last sentence works. Less, it's normally the last first sentence. sentence is are false. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
10 years in prison. So they're saying that if you attract the same sex, that that's a, uh, it's just a made up thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Basically. Jesus Christ. These are all fucking closet homosexuals. Yeah. They don't accept it. He's made up. They're, look at those two men kissing in my penis is hard. It's so <laughs> fake. Yeah. It's so fake. <laughs> I am not gay. I help him ejaculate. Get demon out his cook. Fuck. <laughs> all right, Poseidon, you have any uplifting news? Because this is pretty gay. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, gay is uplifting, no? No. It's happy, no? No, no. Yeah, so context. we still don't know how long uh, you go to prison for. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't say. Um, oh, it says right here. Um, Senegal is a 95% Muslim country that uh, already prohibits any indecent or unnatural acts between individuals of the same sex. As is written in the penal code, offenders can be punished. That's very vague, though. Yeah. Because unnatural acts. Isn't getting your dick sucked kind of natural? No, but it's an unnatural acts uh, between the same sex. Okay. Yeah. Uh, offenders can be punished with up to five years in prison and a fine between 100000 to $1.5 million CFA. Oh, about, shit. About $2,500. $1.5 million ah, CFA. Ah, gay guy can afford that. Yeah. Gay yeah. guys have a lot of disposable income. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They do, yeah. <laughs> they must be like, who cares? <laughs> 2500 for a blowjob. <laughs> Some anti-gay activists want even harsher penalties against sexual minorities. Up to 10 years in prison. Put him in prison with other gay men. Nothing gay will happen there. Yeah. <laughs> you, This is def. Anyone that pushes for a sentence like this is definitely a gay guy trying to hide something. Yeah. Because why would you care? Yeah, what, what, that's yeah. what I'm, I never understood people getting involved in personal shit. Mm. Well, it changes nothing. You don't even have to know. Yeah. We want them to be imprisoned, even if it's forever. Senegal is a homophobic... She said. She said oh, you Senegal is oh, a homophobic shit. country, and we're proud to say it. That's amazing. What? The- <laughs> and you never... Like, here in the, in the West, you never see women homophobes. Or it's rare. You generally see dudes that are homophobes. You never see a woman... Going, I want these fags in jail. It's pretty funny. I, this yeah. is why I say we do a complete heel turn. We go against the gay community. <laughs> this becomes the official podcast of Senegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call two fags maximum, and <laughs> we make him choose which one of the two of us is gay. Oh, that's <laughs> <Yeah. funny. laughs> or we call it two years minimum. Yeah. <laughs> God. <sighs> no. Well, all right. We're banned from Senegal. Uh, yeah. What's next? <laughs> Senegal, which looks like a really fun country. Yeah. Especially, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just won the African uh, Cup. Did Hold they? On. Yeah. So yeah, I saw something crazy. Isn't it funny? It's such an anti-gay country won like the, the the continent's cup of the gayest sport. Oh, uh, well, which sport? Sorry, soccer. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> That's actually very funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right, this. If I was them, I'd investigate that team. Uh, let's see. Russian cops <laughs> brutally Russian. attacked. Um, uh, well, Just make I it full screen. No, because I can't read. Uh, we we read it. Yeah, yeah. Moscow Metro. So th- this was pretty. This was pretty wild. <laughs> I saw it. Okay, let's go. You guys let can uh, watch it. comment over it. All right, let's see what we're looking at. There's a couple. Sign press play. I did. Oh, this is. Skipping. Oh, what the fuck? I don't even know what's going on here. I don't. I don't have context. I don't know what the guy oh, did. Yeah. It keeps bugging. All right, so that guy's walking. Why does it keep fucking freezing like this? Uh, it's a good video. Yeah. Oh, what you're the good fuck? at this. Yeah, thank you. Why does it keep doing this? Wow, you're awesome. Uh, this is the first time I th- I feel that people just listening to the audio are are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> but what? Why? Why does it keep doing this? Because you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. That's why. It's buffering every time. So why don't you refresh? He sits there hitting his head on the wall. Just can't do the simple yeah. refresh. There you go. Okay, yeah. No, oh, okay. okay. So that guy's been tackled to the ground. Can you make a full screen, bro? <coughs> that guy's been tackled to the ground. And then the lady's freezing. Are they forcing him to suck his dick? It's doing it again. That's very suspicious. What's that dude? Is that cop forcing him to Is this him? a fake video? You know how in the old days you'd send a gift to someone? Yeah. And then it'd just pretend like it was buffering? No. Oh, uh, bro, this is very annoying. Every time you put it in full screen. So yeah. just leave it normal and let us watch okay, it. Okay, okay. fucking okay. annoying. But... Let's see here. So they're forcibly mouthing him. Yeah. There's another guy coming. Oh, oh shit. look at that. Yeah. Flying kick. This I is like how the cop looks back. Oh, shit. Oh, he's going for the other one. 
Yo, these are fucking weak. This is Russia, cops. though. Yeah, these are weak ass cops, but also these kids. Oh, oh shit. shit! That guy had his chance to escape and oh. he didn't do it. This guy's pulling out the strap, or he's pulling his dick out. Yeah, and one of the two. That's it. Yeah, that was it. Ah, oh, we didn't see anything. What? How, how did that end? That's a brave kid, though. Yeah. yeah. To drop kick a, a cop. That's yeah, yeah that fun. was crazy. I just yeah. saw it. I thought it was crazy. I want to show you guys. That's yeah. it. They're probably but they kept Uc- fucking buffering. They're probably Ukrainian children, and that's why Russia um, wants to take over now. They're very upset. That makes sense. Yeah. Like yeah. look at these stupid kids. <laughs> Do we have any news on the Ukraine? Uh, apparently it was all uh, bullshit, but uh, apparently I saw that uh, like five. So Ukrainian nothing is happening in the Ukraine. Uh, yeah. Well, there was you know the whole Russia situation. But yeah. So he, you, what does that mean? Meaning like uh, Russia was amassing troops at the border of Ukraine. False, fake, fake news. And uh, everyone thought they were going to invade. Uh, Who's everyone? Biden thought. Biden. There you go. Uh, so he, you know, the media also was saying that oh, they're getting ready to invade. No, no, no. And there's that, and the, they thought there was going to be all-out war. Uh, finally, nothing happened. They just uh, took a, they took away their troops. They did drills and shit. But apparently, uh, stop five. Saying, stop saying apparently. Why? Because you said it three, four times. Allegedly. Okay, so allegedly, uh, like five Ukrainian soldiers uh, were 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 killed. They killed a Greek guy, the Ukrainians, last week. They did? Yeah. Bro, Russia shouldn't have invaded. That's what I said. <laughs> as soon as I heard, I said, oh, really? <laughs> oh, really, bro? All right. Russia shouldn't have invaded. Guess who's bro. Russia Jr. now? <laughs> uh, no, the, the Ukraine, they have their own problems because the rebels that the Russians had funded a few years ago when they took over Crimea and they, they took over these spots outside Donetsk, uh, they recognized them yesterday as official republics, basically. Okay. As, so imagine you have these runaway rebels in, like, in, in Montreal. You have like uh, Montreal North or Park X. They're their own country. rebels. Yeah, they, they were recognized as their own country. So now, it's like, yeah, Russia knows how to cause problems. Yeah, but in all it's this, it's exactly what America always does. That's the thing. Russia's yeah. actually it, it's shitty, but they're actually correct in this. Yeah, they're nineteen eighties really? cor- yeah, America. Th- yeah, and they're correct to be mad because the reason why they're pissed off is because they've b- been lied to for the last twenty years about NATO. Oh, because NATO is o- NATO only exists to fuck with Russia. NATO is counter. Uh, Russia. That's why it exists. Okay. So they keep adding countries, and they said you, oh, we're not going to add any more countries close to your border. Now they've cl- literally closed them completely off. Every single country is part of NATO, so they all have uh, NATO um, missiles pointed at Russia from every direction. Fuck. So they're so, so they're going on no, 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 now right at our border with Ukraine. They're going to join NATO. You're going to point rockets from there. Fuck you. Yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame them for being pissed off. I don't blame them. Because they keep lying to you for so many years. They go, no, we're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. They never stop. Mm. It's like the Greece Turkey situation. Yeah. So I I get them. Exactly. You keep bullying. Okay, so fuck off. I don't trust you. No. Yeah. So I get. I don't want nothing to happen. I love Ukrainians. I like the Russians too. So I would prefer if nothing happens. No. But I get why the Russians don't trust uh, the Americans. In fact, I want to go to to Ukraine. Why? Why? Okay. Sex traffic. No, no, no. <laughs> There is legal homosexuality. Yeah. Um, that's one of them. No, but one of the things is um, basically there's like a um, how do you, how do you say forfait in English? I forgot. Um, forfeit. Like a no, like a package deal type of shit. And you could pay because the thing is like um, their economy apparently isn't too good. Who told you that? I heard this from a, a Ukraine old Ukrainian coworker that I had. The guy it was a guy or a girl. The guy. He's full of shit. Really? Ukraine, one of the strongest economies on the planet. Well, I didn't know. Well, it's, you don't <laughs> now either. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, an fuck. old oh, so. Ukrainian man living in Montreal told you uh, it was dirt cheap to go to Ukraine. That's why he left. Yeah, that makes sense to you. Well, no, it's dirt cheap for people like if you visit and well, stuff. Well, so then why was he with you? Yeah. Why isn't he busy visiting? Because to the live Ukraine? there, to live there, like even though it's, it's dirt cheap, expensive. you don't make enough. It's like Greece. Like Greece, it's like for other European countries like Germany, it's dirt cheap for them to travel there. It's but not dirt cheap, but yeah, it's cheap. Well, not dirt cheap, but you know, it's it's cheap to for them to travel it's there. It's not cheap for them. They just make enough money that they're able to travel. Yeah, there you go. But for Greeks, you know, it's it's uh, expensive. Yeah, they go, Greeks yeah. go to Germany to vacation instead. Yeah. No, they go to Ukraine. Yeah, <laughs> they're on the Ukraine. Anyway, so I, 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 what I thought was was cool is that they had like this package thing where you could go for a day at like a military base. Just one day. One day. That sounds like a good vacation. Yeah. And it's like it's like three hundred something you're dollars. You're gonna waste that day flying in a military <laughs> base. No, yeah. no, you go you go for like two weeks and you go there one day out of the two weeks into a, a camp, a military camp, a, mil- a military base. Will it help you concentrate? <laughs> and basically. 
The way it works is that you pay like uh, 450 bucks or something. Okay. Dirt and, cheap. That's and, fucking and you dirt can fuck cheap. a soldier. No, no, no. And you can shoot any gun you want with unlimited ammo and you can even and if you pay a bit extra you could you could choose fire. your own target you, no you could uh, you no, no, no 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 you could only sh- children or women yeah. no no, no you, you fire at the uh, targets okay yeah but can you choose the target no 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 it's it's uh um who holds a target it's non-live targets it's uh, okay so how much do you have to pay to get a live target like a but, real but, person? but well, but look we don't we don't do these things who's we uh people because it's it's very bad okay what's bad it's bad to shoot uh, live targets is it? Yes. What's the point of having guns then? <laughs> so anyway, so you could go and you could shoot every, every, uh, any gun you want with unlimited uh, ammunition. You do know though that for the day, how do you get unlimited you can ammunition? Go to a do they gun equip range you with a bandana here, and it'll be cheaper than paying for a flight, flight yeah, to a hotel. the Ukraine. And no, a but hotel. you you do a part of like your vacation. Then let's say you're in Europe for a month or whatever, you know. But why do you keep saying but unlimited uh, ammo? And Europe is big. Like if you're in Greece, go to the Ukraine. That's like going, hey, I'm in Quebec. Might as well go to Montana for the day. It's a bit closer. Yeah. It's closer because Europe is like Canada, I think, is three and a half times the size of Europe. Yeah. But still, Greece and Ukraine. It's one flight, a few hours. Yeah. Two hours. Maybe. It's far like here to Manitoba. Closer. Okay. Yeah. No. Closer. To Manitoba. And, um,. and basically, for a bit extra, you could fire the, the, the machine gun that's mounted on a tank, which is pretty cool. But you, can, you can't really do stuff like that. But it's like not that, infinite ammo. Well, not infinite, but like it's a lot of ammunition, yeah. you know. And uh, the reason why they do that is because you know they need money and shit. S- but wait, aren't they wasting? They need money to buy bullets, I guess. Yeah, because they give them. I guess, they would eh? stop wasting or bullets. more and more guns. Yeah, but you're using their guns. I had my yeah. U- Uber driver last week pull out a gun. Offer, uh, ask me if I wanted to go to a shooting range with him. Like as a friend? Yeah. Did he know who you were? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. He was okay. like, he was like, hey. He I thought was it was just like, random. He was like, you hey. look like a fun guy. No, but he was like, hey, uh, I really like what you do. If uh, there's gonna be weird, but if you want to come to the shooting range with me, I can invite you. I kind of like that. And I was like, I almost felt like going, but then I was like, the only reason I didn't go. What if he shoots you? No, he was like, uh, just uh, tell me, I'll come pick you up. We'll go to the shooting range. And I was like, I want to meet the guy at the shooting range. I don't yeah. want to be stuck in a with car him. with a Uber driver that I don't know. With a shotgun. Yeah. With a shotgun, yeah. I'll Let's all. Can we go to the gun range, or do we need licenses? We no, you. When you're a guest, like preach has a has a license. Yeah. And he just bought four new guns. Good. St- don't don't yeah. out him like this. Yeah. Preach is a black guy. Uh. The last thing we need. <laughs> The last thing we need is some cop. He was coming right for us. He's got one of the guns he showed me looked like a machine gun, but it's only a 22. I'm going to go get my license because I preach now. What's that sound? It's a phone. Oh, never mind. Yeah, phone. Yeah, I'm going to go get my license. Yeah, I want to go get my license. Too many black guys around me have guns. I got to defend myself. There's something (laughs) weird, though, about like at first because I wanted to buy a a legal gun, but then everything seems complicated. So I think if I buy a gun, I just I'm not gonna tell anyone and just buy I, a gun. I thought it's easier and I could get cooler guns illegally. Yeah. The only problem is until I have a house house where I could store them, I'm scared to have illegal guns because then something could happen yeah. and then they find them or whatever and then you yeah. fucked. Then I gotta fucking frame him and yeah. then his life is over. So yeah, I'm yeah. I'm I'm pretty much getting away scot free either way. But I'm just <laughs> saying it's it's <laughs> The good thing, though, about that, that's why, like, I never get in movies why people never, uh, like, bury bodies in their backyards when they kill people. You don't want that karma around you. It's disgusting. But you already killed someone. I guess Yeah, but karma. you don't want them close. Yeah, but you, you murdered someone. <laughs> you, car, I don't think karma is going away. Uh, karma might not go away, but you don't want that close. Yeah. And you think about it every time. You want it far away. Yeah. But I never understood why they don't go really, really far and just bury bodies. Like, yeah. They always get caught because they bury bodies pretty close or they throw them somewhere. You could Like here in Quebec, there's yeah. so much land. You could go you, pretty far out. You'd have to rent like a, like a hoe yeah. and dig like at least eight feet. Put them underneath, and then what I do is I I get some land, dig a really deep hole, put them in, put cement, yeah. cover that shit up. That's it, exactly. And then never go back. That's it. That's yeah. what you do. Yeah. There was somebody that gave a a cool strategy. If you plant a specific plant or tree that's endangered uh, in Canada, the oh, government smart. Yeah, the government's not allowed to to dig it up, so they'll never basically dig God in that damn. area. You yeah. can't dig that. Why? 
That uh, that tree has Down syndrome. <laughs> Get Victoria here. I got another secret. It's buried <laughs> six foot deep. God damn. <laughs> but yeah, there, there was uh, something like oh, that that I read online. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, or like, uh, yeah, in areas where the, you know they'll never build. This is the like official uh, podcast of getting away with murders. Yeah. Like the Areas uh, that they'll never build, though, they end up building everywhere. You yeah, have to go no, pretty far out. No, but I mean like, um, in a land what zone. do you call those parks that are, that are protected? A protected park? No, no, no. But like, there's a schoolyard. No, no. There's a specific name for they're them. They're protected by the security guards. That no, keep they're protected you? by 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 laws and shit because it's it has it's like a nature reserve Presence? or some type of shit. Like a prison. No, no. It's because it's a they nature protected reserve. Protected with like gates. No, no, like no. A no. National Isaac park. L- a national park. There you go. That's okay. what I was looking. At. Yeah. So it's like, like a like wildlife a, sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, like type of shit like that. So like, if you bury a body there, like a diner. What? Hmm. Like a zoo. Oh you yeah, bury the the or you could oh, throw you bury them in the zebra section, or, or no, or you could feed them to the tigers. Yeah, no one will notice the shirt full of blood <laughs> <laughs> in the tiger's mouth. No, there's too many cameras. If you take them to a zoo, you get caught. Yeah, you have to yeah, go yeah. in. You can't yeah. weaken at Bernie's. With or you guys. could just fucking feed them to pigs, bro. Keep it simple. Where are you gonna find pigs? Yeah. Oh no, I'm asking that to you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like if us, let's say we didn't know you or your family, <laughs> where are we gonna find pigs? No, you go to a farm. With pigs, yeah, and you just you you chop them up. You think they're gonna let you in? <laughs> just visiting. Look, you know you no no you find you find a friend that owns a farm or you know you find a friendly pig farmer. <laughs> There's know? always one around. <laughs> you know you pay him off for whatever you know. And you tell him, bro, if you don't fucking take the money, or you keep your mouth shut. I'll fucking mm. I'll feed you to the pigs too. A friendly you know? pig farmer, I like that. Yeah, you, you know? so you threaten a <laughs> farmer that you just met. To help you, that makes that perfect yes, yes, sense. Yes. Yeah, then you, you feed them because because the pigs will eat even the bones. Is that uh, true though? I don't or know that how true that is. I think so. I feel like because I've the I I think I've only heard that in movies that they fed the the guy to the pigs. I don't think. So Casey Anthony, all uh, she was missing was <clears throat> pigs. Dude, pigs will eat almost anything, including almost. human bones. But almost it says almost yeah. including human bones. So almost anything. Yeah. Almost all human bones. But I mean I guess it's depending on the pig. No, no, no. But so I mean depending on the No, bone? but like if they'll eat the flesh, if they'll eat down to the if they'll eat the bone too. You're saying if they're if they're gonna eat all of the meat, they're gonna continue when they reach the bone. Exactly. But now you're making it seem like they're a bunch of pigs. <laughs> but that's what they are. Well that's I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's why the case. that's why they're pigs. <laughs> that's why somebody who just fucking eats everything in their plate is called but a pig. If, if you're gonna have to <laughs> cut up what do you know about that? <laughs> if you're gonna have to cut up a body into small pieces, you might as well so eat them yourself. So, or you might what? as well get rid of it. Like, yeah. just throw it in the in the ocean. Like, it, yeah. if it's pieces this big, you can eat that. No one's gonna notice yeah. that it. Just cook them. Yeah. Or you could freeze the body up. and chop it up. They they won't know the the um, the time of death. How's that gonna help? They're still gonna know the death. They're gonna no, I understand. But they, a moida. Yeah, but they won't be able. They to They won't know if you did it yesterday or today. No, but though. they won't be able to pinpoint uh, the the time of death. So the, the like it's gonna fuck up their whole uh, investigation. There's fingerprints of Poseidon all over this guy, but we don't know when it happened. Uh, so this investigation. No, you wear gloves. Done. Bro, you're so stupid. That's uh, that's your idea. It's just a frozen body. You're gonna get yeah. caught. No, what are you talking about? The Iceman, the Iceman uh, got away with so many murders. Uh, the Iceman uh, was doing this in what year? Ah, uh, yes. This yeah. was the 70s. Yeah. 70s, the DNA was uh, not. Yeah. yeah. Right wow. now, there's semen on everything. <laughs> <laughs> there's cum everywhere. Wait, why would there be cum everywhere? You, it's you a murder a cop. Scene. You don't know. I've you, spoken to cops. Yeah. What? Apparently, when they put the blue, there's semen everywhere. Uh, people love leaving cum everywhere. So everywhere we go, there's just always semen everywhere? Well, you remember that, that study that came out about metros and buses where the handrails were filled with semen? What? Yeah, you remember that they were telling you avoid as much as you can and wash your hands because there's semen. they did tests, there's semen everywhere. It's, no way. Yeah, it's from homeless people, just dudes that jerk off, don't wash their hands, go everywhere. People are filthy, bro. Yeah. I don't think it's people jerking off that much. It's just people have jizz on their hands. Yeah, I think me and Why him, do people have jizz on their hands? Because they, 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 they jerk, jerk off, off they come, they wipe it off, but they don't wash their hands. I think me you're and him- You're supposed to, if you jerk off, you're supposed to wash your hands, you do this. Yeah. And then you sing the- the happy birthday to you song. Yeah, twice. that's why I think me and him didn't catch COVID. Or, we our or, hands or you, you fucking cum dumpster. Or, <laughs> or you could just ejaculate in Kleenex, or you, you could ejaculate and in you the shower. It. This is the thing. 
you ejaculate in a Kleenex, you freeze it, and then no, yeah, no, one no one's ever gonna know because there's no time. Yeah, <laughs> they're never gonna guess. You, you, if and then you fuck your wife, she gets pregnant. Your baby comes out. He's 17 years old. Yeah, because he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Uh, it's like it's like that meme there where like you know you keep uh, stop ejaculating in the shower and then like a human fish hybrid comes out of the fucking thing. And yeah. It's like oh what the fuck happened? Oh, but uh, like uh, like right now you if you start freezing your semen like you said when your girlfriend opens the door and starts screaming you're gonna be like prove it you can't get yeah. a timeline out of this it's frozen. What? Mm. Yeah. I I get what you're going with. I did an eye exam this morning. Uh, for uh, just a regular just checkup? A checkup. Okay. My eyes got better. Really? Yeah. That's exa- that reaction is exactly yeah. the my optometrist. So he's like, I don't know how they got better, but they got what, better. What did they used to be? Uh, I remember the number, but I have, but it's basically one prescription better. Like it's they got like okay. one number, one digit higher. Oh shit! How's that yeah. possible? I've been taking a lot of vitamins to avoid COVID. Uh, okay. I think it's I don't know vitamins. if that's it. I have no idea. I'm just I'm guessing what I changed in my life was more vitamins and more stress. So it's either stress makes you look see better, yeah. or it's the vitamins. Maybe it's, it's stress though, because <laughs> you, you concentrate on <laughs> shit. More. Maybe it's the stress. Are I don't you know. masturbating less or more? What? Are you masturbating less or more? You think me jerking off? Because the more you masturbate, the more you <laughs> less. Yeah. Oh, maybe that one too. Oh, maybe that one too. <laughs> They're right. It, you're gonna go blind. Yeah, yeah that's an old uh, wives' tale. Yeah, yeah you know jerk that. off enough, you go blind. Bro, if that yeah. was the case, he'd be fucking cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been eating? <laughs> Have you been eating a lot of carrots? No. Not Are more you than getting usual. all your info from cartoons? <laughs> Have you been getting enough sleep? Not at all. No. Yeah. Mm. Lack of sleep, really. Really? Yeah, a lot less Fuck. sleep than I should. Yeah. Well, carrots improve your vision. Uh, although it sounds cliche, they have vitamin A. So if you've been taking, yeah, so it's vitamins. So it's yeah, vitamins, it's vitamins. Yeah. yeah, make sure that you include foods rich in vitamin C, E, copper, well, and I zinc. I think the vitamins to your diet. direct. Dog. There you go. So, so yeah. yeah, so your vision has been improving naturally because you've been uh, loading up on um, vitamins. The oh. vitamins. You guys wait another six months. I'm gonna start floating. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny when I started taking my vitamins, I was showing it like Phil and everybody was was criticizing me. Yeah. Oh, that can't be healthy. Taking all those vitamins, like why wouldn't it be healthy? I They're understand. Vitamins. They're vitamins. Like yeah. you're eating candy. Yeah. And that's not a problem. But me having vitamins, my body's gonna lose its shit. Did he say it wasn't healthy? To yeah. eat? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And that's if what you I said, yeah. and if you don't take uh, vitamins, uh, foods such as eggs, pumpkins, carrots, dark leafy greens, and sweet potatoes. I don't eat sweet potatoes, but uh, sweet I like potatoes. eggs. I like uh, potatoes. Yeah, I like pumpkin. I only have pumpkin rarely, but I like pumpkin yeah. pie. But if you have eggs on the reg, re- uh, <laughs> eggs are good. Yeah, eggs on the. So reg. everyone making fun eggs of me for, for eating uh, fucking omelets all the time. Yeah. Well, no, no, you Jokes overdo on you. it. No, the joke's still on you. <laughs> yeah. You live life like a homeless guy with a frying pan. Yeah. <laughs> you eat. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's just eating pigeon eggs all the time. Yeah. You eat like a homeless man that has twenty twenty vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I live like a homeless man, but I can see nine colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Is that a gay flag? My color perception <laughs> is perfect. Spot on. I do have very good color perception. I did the... Uh, I keep eating my... That he- doesn't mean what you think. It means <laughs> go on. Yeah. You know what color perception means? You walk into a crime scene, you could already guess who the suspect is. <laughs> it's a black crime. Oh, shit. This one, Italian. This is mob related. <laughs> Only thing that's broken is the plates. The Greeks. <laughs> a Greek guy came in here. <laughs> no, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, there's like this uh, this weird little game on like, um, you know, when you post to Instagram stories, there's these different filters. There's a filter where wait, you... Wait, wait, it's a game? I don't understand what you're talking about. It's a about. game. Okay. It's a sweet little game. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, like when you go on Instagram stories, there's different filters that you can pick. Okay. And this filter is basically uh, a game. So you, you bring it up as a filter... And um, you got to select the color that's different from all the other uh, round circles. So it starts with four circles, and each circle is uh, red, but there's one red that's a different shade. So you got to select the right one. I keep beating my high score, so I have... Uh, what does that have to do with anything? That sounds like the worst <laughs> fucking filter ever. Yeah. I don't know what you <laughs> just did to us. You're beating your high score in a filter. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> beat the filter. I, I don't know what you just I, did to us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you, I think I think you've been completing a test that Victoria's Secret set up for their yeah. new models. Jesus. That's all that happened. Oh, I have heartburn. What is that? Yeah. What is that? I put a filter and I beat my high score. What is that? 
so stupid. That's very <laughs> interesting, Sophia. <laughs> Take your pants off. Yeah. <laughs> that made me dumber. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me f- you have any other stories for us? Is anything else happening on the planet? Kyle Rittenhouse is suing. Kyle Rittenhouse, the the, sh- the kid with the Who's gun. Who's he yeah, the, suing? The Four Doors More Whores? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was his name. Yeah. <laughs> Who's he suing? I hope he's suing gas stations. I suing uh, the Young Turks. Oh, good. Fuck him. Because he called, uh, they kept calling him a murderer. Okay. Oh, yeah, they did call him a murderer. They also you know, called him a racist. But even after the trial, they keep calling him a murderer. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here you go. Kyle Rittenhouse launches initiative to combat lies from media outlets and personalities. Didn't he? Oh. Didn't he murder people though? Well, it was self defense. Yeah, self defense. Yeah. It's still murder. No, well, he murdered one guy. But it's still like even though it's self defense. He's still a murderer. <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse, the 18-year-old, acquitted. That is true, though. Te- on technically, uh, I think you killing someone makes you a murderer, right? Yeah. Let's bring up the... the um... Like him and OJ are both <gasps> murderers. Yeah, they're both murderers. Even though they were both acquitted. Yeah. Well, he wasn't acquitted. Him, we know that he shot. Okay. Uh, it's just uh, that it was, but it was a murder. Self-defense. So the definition of murder is the unlawful, premeditated killing of one human being. Oh, by so another. he's not a murderer. He's not a murderer. So he's a killer. He, yeah, he he's killed. A killer. Kill yeah. someone. So un- it's like someone in the army. Yeah, he's not a murderer. No, uh, a I take that back. I don't want to get sued by yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah. yeah. So he's not a murderer. He's a. Oh. I hope he wins, and then they have to apologize and go, he's a killer. (laughs) 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 Hey, he killed your fucking stupid show. I hate those guys. The Young Turks, that's not big anymore, is it? No. Because it was really big for a while. And then they started taking money from, like, the Koch brothers. and They basically started doing what they weren't supposed to be doing. And just they started getting fanatical. They started going against Rogan, just saying crazy shit. They they got mad at anyone that was bigger than them. Yeah. And they started discrediting themselves. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens to a lot of these people. They uh, yeah, on both sides. Yeah, they don't have fun anymore. Yeah. Like they get big where I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like they get to a point where they get so big instead of being happy that they're big, they get mad there's other people around them, mm. and they just start becoming fanatical. No, yeah. just enjoy yourself. At least Rogan, yeah. this whole thing, he's become the biggest, and it's still the same guy. It's still Rogan. Yeah. He didn't change. He's not like fuck you. You're not allowed on my show. He never became fanatical. He's just yeah. like yeah, hey, it's still me. Just having fun. You and have it, to enjoy it. And he yeah. keeps uh, bringing everyone on the show from uh, all walks of life. Dude, the last, the Pakistani guy, the last episode, whew, scared the shit out of me. The guy that was uh, that went to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he went to prison because he was a jihadist, okay. the hardcore, and then he's reformed. Now he's like anti-terror, anti-murder, anti—you know—and he's anti-big government, right? Smart guy, uh, this Pakistani guy who lives in Britain. He was in like one of those Guantanamo Bay places for like a few years where they had to rehabilitate him, and that's where he started reading books, and that's when he realized like mm, this is some fanatical crazy mm-hmm. shit. So, anyways, him—he—he um, he was talking about the social credit system and how the, like what's being implemented in Britain, how they're pushing that, and he had a level of what they were talking about that we didn't even know. Because we talked more on Sunday, I didn't even realize. I thought, okay, the way it's going to work, social credit. You, Mike, for example, you're not allowed to live in X neighborhood, or depending on your social credit, so which would already suck. But he's like, no, it's one step further because they're already doing it in China. He goes, and the way it works is, your credit, your your digital currency, is not like your money. So even if you have, like, say, a million dollars in this credit, it's more like vouchers where the government and your employer can choose what you could spend it on. So if you're fat, for example, they're like, when you go to the grocery store. Even if you have 10 million, you can't buy burgers or yeah. bread or whatever. But same goes for you talk a lot of shit, you'd like to go on yeah. Rogan. You, Mike, even with your millions of credits in this thing, you can't buy plane tickets or train mm. tickets. You can never go there to do it. You you like, uh, I don't know, podcasting? You can't pay for internet. You can't. So it's that so crazy. That makes it crazy. Though, that the, everything is available on the gray market. On the gray. But, then yeah. it, but what's weird is now if there's no more cash. You can only use these vouchers. That's all that exists yeah. as currency. They do eliminate the black or gray market. That's what they're going to do. But they eliminate freedom completely. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're fucking. Everyone's scared to talk because they don't want to lose. Yeah. The, it's like, no, dude, I don't want to limit my rations of milk this month. I don't want to, li- you know, oh, I, yeah. I can't come on the podcast. If I talk too much shit, they're not going to let me, uh, I don't know, pay for internet for the next six months. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Scary yeah. shit. Scary shit. But then there's crypto. Crypto, there's still hope with crypto, yeah. no? But then again, no you have to somehow. Cash. Yeah, that's yeah. What, but if we're saying if they because they're trying to get rid of all that stuff. That's what yeah, they're trying yeah, to do. Because yeah. even crypto is going to be useless if, if useless in the sense that it's only worth it when people accept it. So let's say right now they give you vouchers and it's the only way you can pay for your internet, your bus. If the internet companies don't accept crypto, your crypto is useless. Yeah, because yeah. all the shit that they block you from, you get it. It's very yeah. dangerous. Fuck. It's a slippery slope. Crypto, you'll only be able to use it for like food and booze, handguns. 
and uh, yeah, illegal shit. It's kind of like whenever people have a lot of cash, like you can't buy houses anymore with cash yeah. or or cars. You can still buy cars, but you'll get caught. Yeah. Uh, I think if it passes a hundred thousand, you get investigated. Yeah, under that you're good. Even but uh, they're supposed to report you even for small amounts. Yeah, but Every, they everyone's don't. a rat now. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. This yeah. guy has twenty G's. Now. This guy's masturbating in the lobby every <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> no, because I heard at the sack if you pay if you buy a car cash, and it's under a hundred thousand, and so long as you go pay the taxes at the sack in full, you, it doesn't. Um, uh, the you, Fed doesn't get notified. If the value of the car is a hundred thousand, less than a hundred thousand, it doesn't get notified. But you don't pay taxes. You don't pay tax on what you paid. You pay tax on what the the book value. Is. The value, yes. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Sorry, so the that value. That's not the same thing. It doesn't matter because yeah. the value could be two hundred thousand. But if you paid, your your boy gave it to you for ten bucks. You, there's nothing to investigate. Yes, exactly. So. Uh, no, no, there still is because the value of the car. So let's say the value is. No, I'm saying is you don't have a hundred. Like let's say me for some no. reason I'm, uh, I made a bet with you. Who cares anything? No, I give you my car. My car is worth uh, 150 G's. All you have to pay is the taxes because I'm like, yeah, you won the bet. Take the fucking car, right? Yeah. There, no transaction. Even if they investigate, they're never going to find an exchange of 150 mm. G's. It never happened. And if they do investigate, people are just gonna buy cars that are worth 99 thousand. Yeah. Right, like no, but they would, they would still investigate, but then they'd come to the conclusion that you know there you want no money exchange. there was no money exchange. But why would they bet. have to investigate? Because all they're asking for this is this is why I'm asking you. All they're asking for is that you pay the taxes, which are on the value of the car. Yeah. Mm. So even if I paid you a hundred G's or if I paid you zero dollars, you have to pay the same amount yeah. of taxes on that I understand. sale, right? Exactly. But they're gonna so investigate you, like a. And you, you'll be able to do it once, but you're not going to be able to have like eight cars because you can't go, no, he, that guy gave me a car. Oh, and he gave me a car. But even if he and doesn't he gave give me a it boat. to you, what's, what are they investigating? As long as you pay the taxes, what do they care? It's but, where the money came from. Yeah, exactly. That's, I hate that shit. Where the money, what do you yeah. care where the money came It's my money. I've but it's the government. Bro, this is how the government, this yeah. is how the sack works, bro. This is the, the government. It, it, the government likes up. to, the government likes to have a finger in everyone's asshole. Yeah. Yeah. And now people were cheering apparently for the new rules where they could freeze bank accounts. They could look into anything. If, if that's you, not new though, they've always done that to freeze bank accounts yeah. because you've donated to, uh, causes. No, that but they, they, they it, it didn't used to be for donating to causes, that's but the they, they, they used to freeze for stupid reasons. They used to freeze for um, income, like they want to make yeah. sure you pay your taxes. I yeah. had, I had once uh, they froze. I had over a hundred thousand in my bank account, and oh, they, yeah, yeah, I they remember. froze it because I owed eight hundred. Yeah, I remember this. I remember the yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had Imagine so now, like that wasn't enough. Now yeah. they want more laws to just willy nilly. Yeah. Poseidon, you posted something about the truckers. Yeah. Let's freeze your accounts and investigate. Bro, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's insane, bro. We're living. We're living in a. Um, it's. I think it's gonna become like China. Canada. Yeah, we're, we're going. I think, I think Canada and the U.S. are done. We're just. Yeah. We're we used to, well. Canada was never a superpower, but the U.S. used to be a superpower, yeah. and this is the end. This is the fall of, the, like everything's fucked. Like all these people pushing journalists. I get that people hate journalists and they think journalists lie. Yeah. But as soon as you're not able to see a reporter without fucking pushing them. You're fucked. Uh, like, oh yeah, people are that angry. Yeah, yeah. Just the it, it's over. If you can't trust the media anymore, it's over. Yeah. yeah no, we don't. No yeah. one trusts. No, no, like critical thinker that sees what's happening. Trust the media. Don't trust anyone. They don't yeah. trust even alternative media. Yeah. Or politicians like me. I don't trust anyone anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you, man. I feel the same fucking way. It's mm. all crazy. I only trust this fucking podcast. Yeah. But I, I feel like uh, what's we're gonna happen? You know, we're mm. wrong. But we're yeah. <laughs> but, but we're we, we try. Yeah, yeah, we try. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but but you know what? Better wrong and honest than wrong and fucking you know divisive and slimy. Yeah. That doesn't They're mean both the yeah. same. They're, They're both, both wrong. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I really, I really think uh, what's gonna happen is like you said uh, a while back. You said it's gonna what split uh, split into four. What the country? Yeah, the, the United yeah, States. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about Canada, but the, I think it really Canada's is. split into three. Yeah, yeah Canada's yeah. gonna be Alberta, Quebec, Alberta, Quebec, and then Van uh, BC will have to go somewhere. Yeah, no, I think BC is gonna be on its own. Canada is gonna BC, separate. BC, Alberta, Quebec. Al Alberta, um, Quebec are gonna be two separate countries. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. And then uh, Canada is gonna be fucked because there's gonna be a big divide. It's in. gonna be hard to go like from Ontario to 
BC. To, to, or Ontario to New Brunswick. Yeah, the, what they're going to be. You have to pay taxes. You yeah. got to pay the toll. You want to pass by our country? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, it was inevitable. Yeah, this happens inevitable. to every... This yeah, like look at Europe. It's, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is history. It's Yeah. Webs. I think Texas and Florida are going to be uh, the first Texas, to that, that whole um, strip, strip uh, going up until, I think, Car- the Carolinas. I think it's all going to be I wonder if the new countries of Canada all finally have the balls to separate from England. If oh, they'll yeah. be like, we're leaving Canada. We're, we're, but you're still staying in the Commonwealth. Yeah. Okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Quebec, for sure. Is going to uh, fuck up. Oh, yeah, it's going to like, fuck yeah. you. But maybe maybe the Commonwealth will try Alberta, and sweeten the deal. To, I think Alberta, no deal to Alberta oh, will be, we give them. Yeah. go fuck yourself. Yeah. yeah. But Ontario would probably be like, oh, we like the Queen. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be Canada. Yeah. New Canada is yeah. going to be a yeah. smaller Canada. Yeah. 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 It's a, no. but the the states. That's when we move to Texas and Florida. That new union, mm. yeah. go down there. It's oh, gonna be shit. the freest place on the planet. I got. Uh, I rented a really cool car because I am in Florida. I'm going yeah. to Florida in a month, and uh, there's for how a, long? Uh, for a week. Oh, six days. There's a, a website called uh, t- uh, Turo. Turo? Uh, is it Turo? Turo, I think. Turo, yeah. Turo, yeah. And uh, so I was looking at cars. Fuck, they were cheap. Um, I had the. Uh, I got a. BMW Z4 a 2022 for 900 bucks for six days. God damn, son. Yeah, and if I rented it through Avis or Tilden or whatever, I would have paid about the same price for like a, a Camry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, that seems about right. It's insane. Holy shit. And I was hesitating between a, a Porsche, the a Porsche, a BMW, and there was, a, there was also a Ferrari. <gasps> but the Ferrari... Was three G's, mm. so I was like, ah, and it wasn't a cool Ferrari. It was, <laughs> it was like an old. It was a 2010 Ferrari California. And then when I saw, like, I know nothing about Ferraris, but I saw all the reviews, and people were like, that's eh, not a real Ferrari. So you're like, I'm not gonna. So spend I was three like, G's. oh, I'm not gonna spend three G's. And then I had uh, to give yeah. a deposit, the BMW, the the guy's coming to, he's leaving the car at the airport. So this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the new Z4s uh, are nice. It's got a nice uh, exhaust. Uh, th- it has a nice little growl to it. It's a uh, inline six, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So it's got more power than the Porsche, because uh, the uh, the Porsche was a uh, uh, Boxster engine. So are you cylinder. just gonna go check out what's happening with the condo and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Relax and I haven't it. been. I'd like. I found a website too that's kind of like a Airbnb, but for boats. I'm gonna rent a boat. Are we gonna move to Florida, Mike? <laughs> We're gonna have to move to Florida. Are you because you, you, if you decide to move to the states and you go Florida, then I won't move to Texas and move to Florida. Yeah. We're all gonna go to Florida. Are you thinking about moving to Texas? Uh, uh, Texas or Florida? Yeah, for okay. real. Yeah, especially after I saw that shit happen with the government. I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. No. Uh, no, no. Yeah, so, I think uh, with my wife with her restaurants, we're gonna have to. Her restaurants have to become really big, and then we sell them. Someone else manages. Yeah, it, you just sell that but shit. I think anyway, like sh- what she wants to do is because restaurants. It's rare you have a restaurant that works for 20 years. So I think she wants to build them once they're big. And then fuck sell off. Sell them retire. for a couple million or a couple hundred thousand. She likes Florida? Uh, yeah, she really likes Florida. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're going yeah. to the sun. Yeah, Florida's nice, bro. Yeah, yeah. two drink minimum yeah. by the beach. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it too. Some neon Miami Vice type of signs Yo, and shit. Man, I love that shit. That will be a good two. Yeah. And then we talk about our lives there. Yeah. That would be yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. That might be the future of this podcast. The future might be yeah. a sunny, sunny podcast. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I could buy a big Dodge Charger V8 rear-wheel drive because you can't well, drive that over here. We're going to have to start paying you for you to do that, and we're not. Yeah. <laughs> you can get, we can get you a 2008 Plymouth Voyager. Aww. I could get you a tractor. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd be down with a tractor. <laughs> really? Yeah, you'd be one of the swamp people. Bro, I'd be yeah. one of those fuckers on the highway going fucking 18 kilometers an hour. With we my should tractor, get you like, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> instead of a car, the only thing you have is one of those swamp boats. <laughs> the, you have oh, to wait the, for it to rain to yeah. drive to our house. <laughs> <laughs> the one, uh, the one with the big fan in back. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Propel- We're gonna call you Swampy. <laughs> so you're gonna be Swamp Sidon. Or what about the? Uh, oh, what, uh, I saw a thing. There's a. a I, I sent it to preach because he ordered like a, a Tesla truck. There's a company that came out. With it's a an adapter that you hook up to your Tesla truck and it becomes a boat. No fucking what? yeah! It's like a thing. The uh, Google uh, Cyber Truck boat. 
and I was reading this, and they they explain it's super easy to set up. But I was like, I'd be afraid to put my boat, my my truck, on a fucking floaty thing. Yeah, and then just drive off into the sunset in a river. It is a little ridiculous. It's crazy because if you sink. How how do you explain that to your insurance company? I, <laughs> I got I've water damage. Where were you? In the middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh shit! Is that that can't be good for the car. That's insane. That's I didn't wild. see that. That's fucking insane. That's wild. Fucking Elon Musk is a gangster. Yeah. Does whatever he wants this far. Ah, uh, did you see uh Mike he um Oh you were reading, sorry. Oh no, but the thing, yeah, I didn't think about that. Because a regular car for regular car car sinks, it's fucked. But uh Tesla, like the seats are fucked and all that, but the since there isn't a motor, it's all you have to do is put your car in rice <laughs> for like a day. <laughs> your your car's That's okay. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> I think because this is supposed to be fully like no holes, it's locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so no water gets in. Yeah, but then again, Elon Musk was like, "It's bulletproof." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then it, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, uh, you like bulletproof shit like that? Uh, Google the Rizvani tank. Okay, you can build your own. Can that you, do you want to Google it? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring okay, it up. you're telling Mike to do it. Yeah. Oh no, no, I thought. I, no, no, I meant like after, like have fun with it. All right, right. switch to no, camera no. two. <laughs> Mike, what's funny? Thank, thank it up, baby boy. So you, you go here. I want to go. Rizvani uh, tank. It's kind of like a jeep. No, nah, no, nah, this is this is insane, bro. Yeah, but why would I need that? <laughs> it's not about, bro. If you're a multi-millionaire LaFlair, you just have to drive in Cadenage. <laughs> What? Uh, we're waiting. Oh, yeah. yeah, like look at this thing. Uh, uh, hold on, where's the fucking? Yeah, that just looks like okay. a, a Jeep. Yeah. 2022 models. So you have the tank starting at 155,000. You have military edition, bulletproof, okay. built for civilians. Yeah, but 20 security the... features, uh, starting at 259,000. Right, and if you click on it, Jesus Christ, okay. that's expensive. Yeah. yeah, and let's say you could go. Uh, you could go build. That's, that's 260, 260 US. 260 US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, like, so that's, 320. that's 3 million Canadian dollars. Bulletproof glass and body armor, underside explosive protection, smoke screen, military run flat tires, thermal night vision system, reinforced suspension, electromagnetic pulse protection. What? That's, like, that's the door handle. So, like, if somebody comes to try and open the door, you could, like, uh, put an electromagnetic zap him? pulse. Yeah, zap them. No, no, no. Electromagnetic pulse protection, I think, is from the pulse grenades, the electromagnetic yeah. pulse grenades. EMP. Oh, yeah, maybe EMP. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Ram bumpers. You could ram people. Uh, optional explosive device detection. Jesus Christ, you, have, you say yes. Yeah. Continuous video recording. Electri oh, there it is. Electrified door handles. Ho -ho! Siren and horn options. I thought 260000 was expensive. It's cheap for everything you get. Yeah. You can ram people, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. electrocute them. Inter magnetic deadbolts, gas Blinding masks. Blinding lights. Yeah. Oh. Hypothermia kit, pepper spray dispenser. What? First aid kit. Bro, bro, this is insane, bro. Like, and you car. can build it, but you can you can do like some crazy, like you could do the military. Oh, look, look at these ones. There's the Hercules 6x6. No, I don't six like that. Six. It's too long. This, oh, this yeah. thing, bro. No, I like the one on top. Yeah, yeah th this one's cool, yeah. So yeah, you want one that looks like a regular yeah. truck. And I don't want the Hercules one because I don't want, like, protesters that I'm attacking. I don't want them to climb on the back. But even if they climb, uh, bro, like, uh, let's say it releases poisonous gas look or whatever. Bro. bro, look at it, bro. Look at look, look how bananas yeah. it is. Oh, wow. This Could is you insane. imagine, Mike, driving around with this thing? I spent a whole night, one night, just yeah. building my kind that I would Well, oh, I wouldn't even build. I would spend the whole night imagining the things I would do with this bad boy. yeah, yeah. yeah. I am the law. You could take over a small country with a couple yeah. of these. Hold on. I don't know how to... Uh, no, I'm going to suck them. You, you spend 260000 You're like, my car is indestructible. And then you get a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has like, run flats. Okay. What are run flats? So basically, um, the... They it's like special tires that even if you get a like a pierced, you can you can keep going. We should. What's the Those are the only tires that should exist. <laughs> like that. That's They're what I used to though. have on my uh, BMW. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. It's yeah. Amazing. I think that's what I have on. Oh no, that's not what I have on my Tesla. Uh, I got a flat. Yeah, BMWs like uh, they they like putting run flats. Uh, What's the difference between a run flat and a military run flat? Uh, it could take bullets. Well, yeah. Or probably. probably you can't pierce. Does it, it easy. salute you? Yeah. <laughs> This would be fucking Hold sick, on, Mike. Yeah. I'm trying to see uh, the options. And the more I look at it, the more it looks like a small 
Just a small Jeep. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, look, I'm going to be honest. I want it. Yeah. I kind of want, I want to make enough money to just have two of those. How do you and we go that? take over little little countries in yeah. South America. What do you do against that? I don't understand. Unless you have a rocket launcher, how are you going to fight against that? Yeah. Ah, there you go. So now you can pick. Uh, okay, there you how go. How are you going to do that, Poseidon? Do what? But you can't. Can you have a weapon outside of it? Like, or, uh, I think there's a sunroof that. Uh, I'll go yellow. Uh, gl- I want a yellow satin. Nah, yellow is disgusting. Try blue. Because I can't see. All of the colors. Are, that that's a good color. Yeah. What about red? Mm. Yeah. But now you stick out like a sore thumb. Or white. White. You look like uh, one of the Golden Girls. Oh, let's go white. Yeah. Yeah. Go white well, gloss. W- you look like fucking B. Arthur. Let's going see. to the Emmys. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That looks, look that looks like, kind of dope. It actually. looks like a. I like white That's cars a dictator with black, car. yeah. and black, black tools, rims. Cool. Yeah. Try red glossy. We did. No, oh, we purple. Did. Color of royalty. Mm, maybe. What's this? Nice. Yo, this is dope. Uh, well, if you you're going to go underwater. You look like a buffoon, yeah. though, with that. Yeah. It's you look 5, like a millionaire at the. I'm like in the army. Yeah, yeah. But it's the wrong one. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice one. Oh, this is cool, too. This is a nice color. I don't like that. Copper glass. Try green. Copper glass sounds like a restaurant. What's wrong with you, Poseidon? Why can't you see? Because his eyes are too good for colors. Yeah. To, oh, green that. looks nice. But I would get in a satin color. Satin is uh, like matte. Oh, is yeah. that what satin is? Yeah. Uh, this is the best, though. It's a white yeah. one, I think. Yeah, the white one is nice. Yeah. Orange. Orange, no. Nah. No. Nah. Most of them aren't that. Yeah, most of them are too. Yeah, it's, even yeah. the red one, it's not a cool red. No. Nah. Uh, it's a d- satin d- But let's red. say you go satin yeah. white like this I think black or white you get this yeah. Yeah. This let's bad boy in it. Look that the white one that's a dictator mobile yeah. uh, what, What's this? Uh, wait whoa what does it say oh, the, the engine? engine. Oh the Standard. engine is insane it's more than that Bro the engine You must do like 0 to 60 in 9 oh, minutes Because it on, must hold weigh on. 9 million pounds You can get Oh the Hellcat Demon bro what the fuck Hold on hold on bro hold on I gotta show you this shit Because I had fun with this a while back uh, what are people seeing on okay, screen right so now? So for 150 uh, us for 150 thousand okay. dollars, you can get a 1300 po- uh, horsepower, seven liter supercharged V8. What does I, that mean? That means you get a motor. It's like a monster engine, bro. Like if you were to put that in a car, your car would probably do backflips. Oh wow! Yeah, which is very impressive. Very athletic. Yeah. Very <laughs> Could it land it or not? Yeah. Does my car need to stay in shape that much? <laughs> yeah. So let's say you get the, but if you get the thirteen hundred horsepower seven liter supercharged, it's like one hundred fifty thousand dollars, extra. Shit! On yeah. top of the two hundred fifty. On top of the two fifty. God damn and it! Then you go next, and then you know you got a tow package. Is there a sunroof? I don't think so. What's That's in, oh interior lighting package? Well, they can't have a sunroof because this. they don't want you to uh, to get shot at. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is the. Uh, what does that say? Oh, winch that's a winch. Built into front bumper. Operational front windows. We need this. Operational. F- okay, so I would assume you have to pay six thousand for your windows to work. Well, yeah, because they're bulletproof windows, so they usually cannot uh, go up or down. Up or down. They're just Seems windows. Like a weird limitation. Yeah. But that's every bulletproof what, car. What does auxiliary fuel tank mean? Oh, it has like an extra fuel uh, tank. Yeah, an additional fuel tank. Yeah, that's hilarious. Just so in like case. a zombie apocalypse. This is my this is my father's wet dream of an SUV. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All he needs is the black targets to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why can't you see? Next, what else is there? So, uh, I don't know. This doesn't uh, seem suspension. like podcast. Yeah, stuff. no. This is the whoever's worst listening podcast. to this. <laughs> I hope so angry right now. Up. <laughs> Yeah. Whoever's listening, go to the YouTube page yeah. and check it out. No, give a yeah. five star review, but leave a comment. I hate Poseidon. Yeah. <laughs> go. Why was? Why did Poseidon talk about suspensions for nine? Yeah. and then say that this, with these brakes you can do backflips. Yeah. yeah, he sometimes listens to me on the live stream. Still, he'll just go on his phone like, yeah, let me, and it's just quiet. Like, um, look, yeah, like Poseidon, you know we're live now. Yeah. What? 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 He does the, the nose. What? He does that shit. It's so <laughs> annoying. I'm oh, sorry. I just I, I okay. Look, I apologize to the audio listeners uh, at apologize home. Apologize to everyone watching. I, I apologize yeah. to everyone watching. You it should just apologize to the video listeners yeah. too. I think video <laughs> listeners it's even worse. Just looking at pictures of a car of a I motor. I love this. 
My dad's wet dream is this motor. <laughs> so like I apologize to if everybody. If I had this car, my dad would finally be proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize to everyone watching, listening, listening. Uh, living in uh, L- living new in Canada or yeah. old Canada. Yeah, yeah living in, yeah. Depending on when they watch. Yeah. <laughs> I just so uh, for all the new Canada people, this <laughs> summer at the Montreal Just for Laughs Comedy Festival, there will be a podcast yeah. called Mike Ward Sousa yes, the number indeed. one French language comedy podcast on the planet, is going to be live at the Montreal Bell Center where it yes. seats 20,000 20, people. bullet proof seats yeah <laughs> yeah uh, we would recommend you don't test out that theory but we're told that they're bulletproof mm-hmm. so tickets are at centrebrag.com right now yes. if you are a french speaker if you're bilingual there is no better bigger show this summer than mike was live at the bell center so join us for this historic moment we're gonna be there we're gonna be taking videos we're gonna right you're gonna be God, the right. GoPro, there's gonna be gopro yeah. action all over that place this is gonna be a historic so. moment we're excited for it and also dates. Mike is back on tour. Mike Ward yeah. Noir on tour right now. Starting March 3rd, you guys are coming out. You're opening for me every show. Every show. He's on the side. He's on the side. Uh, my tour also starting soon. We're booking dates right now. So just keep track. PantelsComedy.com, Patreon.com slash Pantels. And if you want the entire back catalog of Mike stuff, it's Patreon.com slash Suzakut. Every Suzakut episode is on there. You have access to it. Plus, it's the only place to go to actually buy tickets for Suzakut live at the Bordel. But if you want live at the Bell, Center, centrebrag.com. The Poseidon69 on Twitter and on Instagram for Poseidon. He's also on Twitch, twitch.tv slash The Poseidon69. New episodes of him and Guido's show, The Intellectuals, comes out every Thursday night on his YouTube channel. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys and go fuck yourselves.